I'm Gaz, and this is Let's Play Judgment Apocalypse Survival Simulation. This game was given to me by the developers, and uh, it's in very early alpha. But uh, I'm going to try it anyway, because they were kind of poking me and being like, Hey, have you seen this yet? And so here we are. Um, it is another one of those village survival simulation games, and uh, you'll probably draw some comparisons to RimWorld. We'll talk about that later. Uh, challenging difficulty is the default. It expects you to lose, and I guess for a series that I kind of intend to keep short, maybe we'll go through this uh, on challenging just so I die a couple times. Maybe I will, I don't know. I've played through the tutorials just a little bit, so I kind of know what I'm getting into. We'll also play through on this Let's Play. And we start out with three survivors. We have Jenny, the priest, who is corrupt and a smoker. She's... she's actually terrible. Can we... can we get, uh... I mean, I guess I could re-roll. We do have an engineer, a crafter, who is a believer, and a bodybuilder. I don't know, I mean, from an RP standpoint, I kind of like having her here. However, she has no stats that are good. I mean, she's just a terrible choice. So let's re-roll. Okay, now we now have Lauren, who's an occultist weirdo, meaning she can use weapons, occult weapons. We have the ability to research the occult and use it against the demons. Uh, she's a meat lover. Well, looks like she's going to be... If we can get occult rifles, <laughs> that'll be great. We also have a devout priest, who's a little bit better than the previous priest. She's also an alien abductee. Can perform tasks, mine minerals, okay. And we have Andy, who's a builder and a smoker, also a priest. What is it with priests and smoking? But she's a fantastic builder, so that'll be good. We do not, however, have a dedicated crafter. She's good at research, and she can help out the occultist in rituals, but, uh, yeah, we don't have a dedicated crafter. Mm, well, we'll start anyway. Okay, while camping out, four of you were attacked by a single powerful creature. Together, you barely managed to take it down, but Ned didn't make it. All around, more red eyes told of awful things looming in the shadows. You grabbed your supplies and made your way back to town, only to find it has been overrun, burning under a red sky. The apocalypse has begun. The three of you made your way to a nearby hidden valley that you used to hike to. It seems safe for now. You should set up camp. Start with a shelter, a place to eat and rest. So we need to build a log cabin, a food table, and a bed. Okay, yes, yes, creating tasks. So, one of the cool things about this game is that everyone will go to an assigned task, and you don't have to tell them what to do at all. That's not entirely true, but it helps to uh, have it semi-automated. So this is an okay location. We've got some clay down here. Got some stone. We've got uh, wood. We've got a couple ruins we can go after. We've got some minerals and water. And perhaps more importantly, we're centrally located for all of that stuff because when the demons come, we'll have limited time to react. And so it's best if we don't build into a corner, for example, and we can just stay right here. So uh, first thing we need to do is build a cabin. We can build a small one. We may as well start off with a large one because we'll have, uh, have a few things that we can shove in there. I'll go ahead and go put this close by these resources. And we should probably also start gathering some things. So you can click on whatever, a gathering uh, node, and then dedicate uh, someone to, say, chop this tree. Or we can select multiples with the, uh, the big selector there. And... Now we come back to normal speed. Okay. Quick and easy little tutorial there. Andy's built it like a motherfucker. Holy crap. And all we need now is a bed and a food table. Uh, we'll build the food table... there. Perhaps should have put that bed over here. Now I can actually move the bed. We'll do that. Right. You now have a base of operations, but you're far from safe. Your supplies won't last forever. If you don't find food and water, you won't live long enough to worry about those creatures finding you. Before you can grow your own food, you need to learn how. Build an experiment table and research farming. That's why I left myself a little bit of room here. So we can just start that. Now, whoever, in this case it'd be Anne, whoever has the uh, best chance of researching, 
She's got 30% research speed. Uh, she'll begin getting some research for me. And we can use that eventually. We're going to need... Yes, yes. We're going to need... Only five to learn farming. And you see up here we have uh, a minor inventory to pull up the real inventory. Okay, so we've got 30 food. That'll actually last us for a while, and we've got a nice water supply here. I don't know that this ever depletes. It's good that we have it. Um, and then, well, okay. Uh, stones last quite a bit longer than trees, so I'm not going to have a whole selection here going. Uh, and I don't know if we want to start gathering that stuff right now or not. Um... Okay, pull in this, we get farming, yay! You figured out how to farm. Use this knowledge and build some farms. They will provide a steady supply of food. Resources are running low, but there are plenty lying around in the area. You can chop trees for wood, quarry for stone and clay, or search debris for scraps. We need now to build two vegetable farms, which doesn't take that much. Uh, so we can put this... well, we'll put it right here, I guess. We'll keep a little farm area nearby. Eventually I'm going to spread some of these out and have a dedicated hut for... Uh, sleeping and, and all that sort of thing. But I want it so that I can start building a perimeter around some things here. And then we need to build another one. And we're gonna need some wood. Okay. That actually took a little bit more wood than I had expected. Only got three stone out of that. That's fine. So Lauren is our... I don't know why she jumped on there. She doesn't really have anything. She's also a meat lover. But uh, I guess she's going to just take over the farm by default, and that's okay with me. We do have some more research here. But the next ones are going to cost quite a bit more. So, unfortunately, Anne is going to be stuck on there for quite some time. The tutorial is going to allow us to get another person here very shortly, though. Um... Now, I don't know that I want to actually get rid of all of these right away, either, because they kind of act as a natural barrier. I don't think that creatures can go through here. So it's probably good to leave some of these around until we can actually build a wall. Needs. People have needs. Okay, they'll be sleeping, eating, penalties, inefficient in combat when they are tired. Well, that makes a lot of sense. And here we go. Put our next vegetable farm down. So we can actually craft some things here. Uh, clubs. That will become... That will become a thing here. Let's go ahead and speed up time just a little bit so we can actually get something done this episode. Lauren is tired. She is sleeping. We'll need more beds. Okay, arms. These farms should keep you fed for now, but when your colony grows, you'll need to build more farms. Remember, you can't eat raw food. You'll need to constantly prepare meals. Keep an eye on your water supply. Gather water from a nearby well. Okay, easy peasy. Now you that you have basic supplies, you should prepare to defend yourselves. We now need our three clubs. Okay, one, two, three. And those, I guess, will just sort of sit there for a while. Attacked! These weapons should help you defend your base from smaller groups of weaker demons, and not a moment too soon. They've You've been found. Get ready to defend your base. Okay, so we'll... Now have an opportunity to equip everyone, and uh, away they go. Unfortunately, nobody is dedicated fighter, but on an imp, I think this will be pretty easy. Since we're on challenging, I don't know how. Oh, nope, they can go right through the trees. That is not a natural barrier whatsoever. I wish they'd all kind of gotten together. Andy was the hero there, or heroine. We got one imp. That was close, but next time you may not be so lucky. In order to survive, you can't just keep your head low. You need to figure out what's going on out there and gather supplies from nearby towns. You might want to make some better weapons before heading out. You already know how to make basic bows. Our toolbar. Assistance needed. Someone nearby is being chased by enemy creatures. Send a team to assist them. They may be willing to join you. That's probably something we need right now. But first... I guess I should, uh, pause. It's gonna take arrows. Arrows are gonna take wood. 
we need a workbench, which I do not have yet. Um, so let's go ahead. I can't do that. I need lots of wood. Well, piss. Okay. In that case, we will have this get started there. And before we do that, we're going to go... Okay, we can also get there from that, that map there. Ooh, oh my. So we are near a military base and many housing ruin ruins, as well as a farm. This might be pretty good for survival, but uh, this is the mission we need to go and rescue. Now it says there are two imp enemies there. It's going to be a little bit more. So, uh, she has less energy and health. I don't think I want her. Uh, however, melee accuracy is not so good for you. You're definitely going to be our fighter with plus 25 damage. However, she also takes more damage herself. Is that from Alien Abductee? I guess it's Devout. Okay. Well, I, uh... Hmm. A little less health. Less accuracy. Well, I guess we'll go with that. See how poorly that does on this test run. We'll go normal speed. Okay, click a location to see enemies in loot before entering. Hmm, well... Okay. So, we can only send two, uh, because you can't leave your base undefended. So, rescue missions, we need to find the cage, we need to get people out. And we just saw... oh, they're right here. However, I think I just saw some imps run off there, and as soon as we start trying to rescue this person, I believe that kind of aggros them. Lauren should probably actually stop. Okay, you need to attack that. Okay, you can be the one, because Anne is the better fighter. Well, fortunately, this was actually very easy. We didn't have to go all the way across the map trying to find this thing. Um, is this your, uh, is this your poor accuracy thing coming into play here? No. And it is taking you forever, holy crap. Okay, Ronald. Ronald is coming with us. Well, we'll find out. Ronald is actually a fighter. That's really good. We need that. Um, retreat? Retreat. There. I guess it's not enough to pull them in there. Anne has gained lots of experience. We've got more sulfur. Used in occult rituals. Well, I'm sure we'll get there eventually. We'll be back. Okay, back to base view. Good. Uh, we're going to pause that for a moment and get Ronald a club. And we don't have... don't have nearly enough research. Okay. Um, someone is going off to gather that stuff, right? Give you that weapon. So, what have you got? More damage, but terrible at occult research and research in general. He's a brute. Okay. Well, Ronald will be our main fighter. So what we're worried about now is gathering materials so that I can build another hut, so that I can build the research, or the work workbench. And, uh... I could just move those over... Put that there. We only really need a smaller one, then. We are, however, going to need trees. Okay. We're going to stop on that, because we've got... Well, we've only got three stones. We probably actually will need that, but the three of you right now are off to go get me some wood, which is a little bit more important at the moment. Let's speed this up just a bit. Okay. Our awareness is rising, which means we're probably going to get attacked here 
This is a thing where, as it says, enemy awareness of your colony determines how often and how strong enemy raids are. Uh, awareness increases over time. Larger populations cause awareness to increase faster. Other factors can affect awareness, such as research, buildings, rituals, and missions. And we are researching a bit much so that it's going up again. Everyone does, however, happen to have some wood. Um, do we want to just build a small one? Just for a sleeping? I think so. I think we can get away with that. We'll move the bed in over there. I, uh, Andy must be sleeping, eating, eating. Okay. Because someone was not taking the time to build. Andy is now building. Okay, Lauren is done screwing around with that stuff. Is this not ready yet? Must not be ready. Maturity, 91. Almost. So we'll have some things that we can start cooking with. And we're done. Okay, good. So this, someone's moving to use it, but we'll go ahead and put that over there. Once that bed is actually moved. Okay. What is going on there? Ah, okay, I see. Okay, you can stop that, and then we need to move you and push you there. And then we're going to move you, put you... Well... You know what? I want to put this in its own building, because there's another food type of building. And we're going to need stone. Okay, back to quarrying stone. Back to researching, and here we go. Awareness, okay. So we've hit the 20% mark. People are coming. Lauren is asleep. I guess that's just telling me that someone's coming. Uh, we can also go to the world view and perhaps go search. Oh, there's uh, minor demons there. Minor demons there, minor demons there. Okay. This is not good. We are not yet powerful enough to go out there. Absolutely not. So what's that going to take to get, let's see, cooking? Ah, there we go, the stove. That's what I wanted. And then we should probably begin looking at... Well, the rituals, yes, but I think we are going to start needing to have some weapons. This requires arrows, that requires the workbench, right. Okay. Which we can now build. Boom. To get a bed, we're going to need a lot more. So, right now we have to share the one bed. That's really not good. Could try building another... This is a huge waste of wood, I feel, but I need to have some dedicated huts in here. Now, see, I could put that back in here, and I think they can get to all three of these. But I want someone to come and build this first. Speed it up in here. Okay. Who is doing what? You're going to sleep. You're going to build this rather than that. There we go. Okay. Well, let's just keep moving this stuff around then. We'll use this as a sleeping hut. For a while, I think that'll take care of our needs. Maybe not. We're going to need some more wood here in a moment, though. Perhaps I am uh, dividing their attention a little bit too much here. I don't know. Water distribution. Yeah, let's not worry about that. Increase our speed again. 
Now we're worried about making that stove. We need clay and we need some scraps. Okay. Be doing that then, and we will be getting a little bit of clay here. It's going to be important because we're starting to rapidly run out of food. I don't know why you can't just eat tomatoes, but you can't just eat tomatoes. Wish we had someone who was a little bit more dedicated to scavenging. We've got some medical supplies. Water is running out. Uh, not that badly. Survivors may lose health when water supplies run out. Surely it's not running out that badly. Well, get some water then. It is actually dwindling quite quite quickly. Um, so we need just a little bit more clay. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna take you off of that, so you're not collecting that stuff anymore, and you're gonna go, I guess, eat. A little bit more clay. Suppose I could put another person on clay. What is that? Oh, that must be where we killed the previous imp. Alright. So, I think I'm going to use the, uh, use the buildings as walls. Just seems like a much easier choice. There, now we have a dedicated food hut. And we'll go ahead and, let's see. Well, I guess we should collect a little bit more clay. We're running low on the vegetables, though. That's not good. Eureka! Some say that ideas are easy, and execution is all that matters. Scientific research, however, is driven by ideas. Ideas that can form by anyone, anywhere, even in your sleep. Ronald sometimes speaks in his sleep. Mostly nonsense, but today his ramblings led to a scientific breakthrough. This is the brute who did this, by the way. Excellent. However, that is going to advance research quite rapidly. Now, what do I want, though? I could get myself down to gun crafting. We'd need a weapons workshop. Could also do first aid, which may become important. We can't yet go into occult research. That's going to take something. What? I don't know. Well, I guess I'll uh, think about that one. I'll end this one here, and I'll see you next time.